So my character Tilly is a security guard at the British Museum and she basically just sits in the booth for like years maybe. I, I, in my inner monologue it's been like three years and she doesn't really get many customers come to her gate. She's just kind of usually chatting to the phone on her boyfriend, to her boyfriend and stuff. And um, yeah, but on this particular night, she does get a lot of action. First of all, it was pretty awesome to do scenes with Ben Stiller. That was like one of my main motivations to wanting to be in the movie because the ensemble was like so great. But to work with Ben as well was awesome. So it was cool. With our scenes, we really just kind of let it rip a bit. Um, we were doing a scene last night that's probably we're doing like 10 minute takes, but in the movie it'll probably be like two minutes. But we just keep riffing off each other and it's, yeah, it's really cool. There's Ben Stiller as Larry and Ben Stiller as La. So when we're shooting those scenes, we shoot them twice um, with Ben playing the different characters, which is kind of cool, yeah. So sometimes I'm talking to the stunt double in the scene um, and then and sometimes it's with Ben um, depending on what he's dressed as and it's kind of cool it's kind of like two chances to do the scene good. So La is one of the cavemen who um, you know at first I think he's pretty filthy but then when I like get to know him a bit better I feel like he's a really good listener and um, there could be some magic there. The guys have got to figure out what's wrong with the tablet, so they got to break into the British Museum. And that's when they meet this one. For family movies, they're so funny. And also, the cast that they have, like Ben Stiller, Owen Wilson, Robin Williams, Ricky Gervais, like, you're not really going to get funnier than that kind of ensemble. So I was really excited to join for this third instalment. Sean is fantastic. Uh, I, I love his energy. To me, he reminds me a lot of Ben Stiller, actually, because they're both kind of like, oh, yeah, all right, let's do it. Uh, and he's just playing music downstairs during the take to kind of get us all in the right vibe for the scene, which is really cool. And I, what I love about Sean is he just encourages you to just go wherever and do whatever in the scenes and we've been improvising a lot. And then he knows which bits are the funny bits. And he's got such a good eye and ear for, for where the funniness is in the scenes. Um, but he gives us the freedom to just jump in and like kind of feel out the characters. It feels good because the first, the first two movies, Night at the Museum 1 and 2, were all set in America. And then in this one, I feel like it's so awesome that they like got on a plane, come to London, and you meet characters like my character, which adds like a whole fresh new element, I think. London was pretty awesome. Like it was freezing, as is uh, Vancouver right now. <laughs> uh, but it was so good to go to the museum in London and just be there with these massive thick columns and, and to be outside with Ben and yeah, it was, it was really awesome. It made it feel like really authentic that we actually did travel there and film in London. I think I met with the director, Sean, and I just kind of had a feel that she's kind of a girl from the London suburbs, but she's a little bit street as well and she likes to chit chat. So that was the kind of feel that we went for with the character. No, like she wishes she like had some man come and rob the museum and she could try to like but unfortunately <laughs> she hasn't really had any action. She's just sitting there looking for someone to talk to.